What's up, what's up, what's up? Of course, making them delirious. Aquarius, who you making delirious mid-April, you guys? What's up? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, indeed, with my lovely, lovely, one of my personal favorites, Aquarius. Yes, indeed. Did you miss me? Because I surely, I've been waiting to get to you, boo. I sure have. Shout out to all my new subscribers. A big up to your cash out. Cash out. Cash out to the place. What? Listen, why well, I'm feeling like y'all, look, look y'all some big money bandits out here. Why well, I'm feeling like y'all cashing out? Y'all in the club chewing dollars like y'all just, why well, I feel like y'all, of course, like every time I come to y'all, y'all energy is always like y'all living y'all best life and motherfuckers is big ass mad. People is big pussy hole ass man. And, and, and ain't no part. Listen, that ain't nobody problem but yours that you made. Okay? Don't be mad. Bitch, get glad. Okay? So listen, shout out to all my new subscribers. Big up to y'all. Cash out, like I said. I'ma see y'all at the bank. We all cashing out over here, okay? If this video resonates and y'all want to book a personal private reading with Scorpion Reds Tarot, hit that about tab, alright? Um, click my booking, which is Scorpion Reds Tarot, as simply book me. After you book your reading, click that hyperlink that is right below the booking link, which is my Instagram. Send me a private message so that we connect, can connect there to do the video chats. I only do video readings, okay? So um, you can ever connect with me on Google Hangouts using my email, scorpionreds at gmail.com. Or like I said, you can click that link that's right under the booking, which is my Instagram, and we can connect on Instagram. And you guys follow me on Instagram anyway at scorpionreds, all right? If this video resonates and gives y'all some insight and some love and light and you guys want to give a dollar or two or three you can feel free to do that as you can see this tower of uh decks have has risen and i actually have three more decks coming from mystic moon yes indeed miss mystic moon i will be using her decks three of them of hers today and i will and i am getting an additional three Thanks to you guys' love and support. So if you guys want to send a love donation to the page, my PayPal is in the description. Please feel free to do so. And it definitely um, pours the love and light back into the page. So thank you so much for all of your love and support. All right, let's get into the energy for Aquarius. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here. You know Aquarius is out here making them delirious, okay? They out here got people mad. They delirious because they upset that Aquarius is out here living their best life. Father, please give them, please give them rest. Help them rest easy and come to peace with themselves about how they feel about Aquarius because Aquarius don't care. And you know we don't care, Father. You know Aquarius is listening. We said we was making some changes in 2018 and when we said it, we meant it. Okay? So excuse our French. Okay? Excuse our French. But we don't care. Okay? And I ain't about to cuss on no prayer. But you know what I was about to say. So excuse my French. Okay? But we're not about to do that today. We're not about to do that today. You know? Mm -mm. We're not, we we going to be good today. Okay? So, Father, please give Aquarius guidance for mid-April. And I'm retarded and my day ain't been started. I've been saying in all the other videos, the 15th through the 31st, but ain't no 31st day of April. So, we're going to correct that here with Aquarius. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. We're going to correct that. Okay? So, from April the 15th, through the 30th okay please give us guidance father god and thank you so much for the love and light and thank you so much for having us waking up every day feeling in our best like if we can't thank you for nothing else father god thank you for loving us and thank you for just bringing happiness and joy to our life and just being bold to step away and walk away from things that no longer serve us and just choosing us like some people they talk a lot of stuff oh Aquarius y'all cold y'all don't got no feelings why y'all want us to feel stuff why why some of y'all need to tap in and have a little bit more in the Aquarius in the in y'all maybe y'all will have a little bit more fun and not be so uptight now, people need to get their mind together. Anyway, Father, please help them. Because, like I said, Father God, people got problems with Aquarius. And you need to help them with their issues. Because we good over here. And thank you. <laughs> Amen. Aquarius, y'all irritating. Because that was... Aquarius, why y'all irritating? Why y'all praying to God was like that, Aquarius? that be missing out 
know when these Aquarius readers, I don't listen. I guess it's just for be be for me and my Aquarius. Boy, cause we be listening. They don't even understand Aquarius, boy. They don't understand Aquarius, honey. It ain't funny support. This came out yesterday. Okay, the same cards that came out yesterday. Cause I was I tried to do y'all reading yesterday, but then my um my um my memory got full and I, I couldn't figure out how to erase it. it. I had to go on YouTube and figure out how to erase this backup memory off my card. It was just drama, honey. It was drama. But God got the same message for you yesterday. Okay, let me tell you the story from yesterday. So it was support. It, it was some okay. I'ma pull out the cards from yesterday. No, no, no. I'ma see what comes out. Father, give me the other card from yesterday. Father, give me the other card from yesterday so I can tell the same story. Cause I feel like they need that same story. Father, give me that information from yesterday, Father, please. Someone, someone, you tired, like some you you recognize someone's just leaning on you for quote. Courage. Okay courage still green still green still green still green someone you listen someone you tired of motherfuckers leaning on you for support you like please stop leaning on me for support because you think i'm about to keep aiding and abetting you and your bullshit and i'm not i don't like people leaning up i don't like people close to me like that for real for real please stop Stop coming to me for the support, AA, eh, because eh, people, listen, Aquarius, people are around you because you be having fun, you dress well, you eat well, you go out to restaurants every other day, like you be partying, you be enjoying your motherfucking life, do you understand? I feel like people be around you because of your connections with people in your area, like you're very well connected, you're very well established, you're good, and you know why you're good? Because you don't be giving a fuck about nobody else. Okay, so it's like, um, why don't you get some inner Aquarius going on in your life? Maybe your shit would be a little bit better. Please stop leaning on me for support because, listen, you're going to have to, you're going to have to have some courage to have these motherfuckers back up off your green because the other car, it was green too. And I'm trying to remember what it said. It was support and something else. Oh my gosh. But it's like, you, you need to, you need to have courage and stop letting people lean on you for support because i feel like these people are around you for the wrong fucking reasons god i wish i could remember but listen y'all when i do these readings once i disconnect from the energy i don't remember anything like something will have to trigger me to remember what that reading was about but me seeing that card triggered me to remember what that reading was about so support it says ask for help Get more rest. Nurture yourself. And with that, I, I'm, I'm getting that. You do so much trying to support and help other people that I feel like you neglect to take care and nurture yourself sometimes because you're so beautiful and you're so strong. And you're like, you're very bold and daring. And you're very fiery, you know. And people rely on you for support whereas though i feel like they don't even have the courage to get up and do the shit their self because they feel like they can always come and lean on of course of course leaving them delirious and you're gonna leave them delirious because you're gonna have to back away you're gonna have to have the courage to back away from them people and because they're focused on your abundance being their abundance do you get me they're focused on your abundance being their abundance. And they didn't sacrifice for this stuff. They didn't accomplish this stuff. You accomplished it. So stop leaning on me. And Aquarius, you need to have courage. And not only that, you need to recognize that you are aiding and embedding them. And these their own demise continuing to give them support. They'll never figure out how to step their own shit up and be their own person. You are safe. Fear isn't illusion. Set strong boundaries. Do you get me? You are safe. Fear isn't illusion. Set strong boundaries. Stop allowing these motherfuckers to lean on you for support. They are on you because you have an ever-growing green abundance around you. You are good in the street. You are well respected in every neighborhood. Like I really do feel that. Like of course, y'all, y'all solid out here. 
Listen, forest green, ever, ever green, ever growing, ever growing. I feel like that in a nightclub that you can't go through. Like, you don't even have to stand out there in no lines. Like, people know you. These people are around you because you are fucking Aquarius. That's why people be hating on y'all. <laughs> huh. No, excuse me. Let me close my door real quick. Right, so let's get some insight into why spirit is telling it's telling Aquarius to stop letting people lean on you and have courage to make people stand on their own like that's what it is like you gotta stand on your own you gotta stop leaning on me this ain't lean on me when you ain't strong gotta be your friend I'll help you carry along nah nigga your fat ass is getting too heavy cause I feel like people getting fat and they getting plump off of leaning on you. Like, they really think your blessings is their blessings. They ain't never going to go out there and work hard and try to obtain nothing for yourself. If, you, if, they say, if you don't have a courage to stop letting these motherfuckers lean on you. No, and, and are these really your true friends? If you was, if you didn't have none of the shit that you have, would they still be your friends? That's what I really want you to ask yourself. Quality, not quantity. Pay attention to who want to be your true friends because they are your true friends because they genuinely love you and who love your lifestyle and who wants your lifestyle. That's why these motherfuckers be big pussy ass man. What is this? Queen, Queen of Wands in reverse? God, what was yesterday's reading? I can't remember. I'm so mad that my, my thing shut off on me. A page of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, the Ten of Cups was dead. God, I can't remember. The Six of Swords. You moving. The, the Prince of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. Okay. Mm. You two of cups. Cause I'm saying in my head, I'm like, Father God, please clarify this. Um this Ten of Cups because it's like the Queen of Wands in reverse, right? Hold on. The last bit of Indo smoke, I'd rather give you my bitch than to let you breathe on. The last bit of Indo smoke. And you know, Sugar Free is playing in the background. Aquarius said, I'd rather give you my bitch than to let you breathe on the last bit of Indo smoke. <laughs> Aquarius right now is like, listen, they're not the bitch to be played with right now. They in the Queen of Wands reverse, okay? I feel like someone has been leaning on them a little bit too much for support because this is the Prince of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone that's a little kid, like you juvenile and shit and you playing around. It's like someone saying, like, they mother keep come, be calling for them to come downstairs and take the trash out. Be like, Jimmy, come and take the trash out. They be like, yeah, mom, I'm coming, I'm coming. Whole time, Jimmy sitting up there, upstairs in his room, listening to his boombox and shit, playing with his little fucking mechanical motherfucking, uh, 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 race cars and shit. Jimmy ain't listening to you. Jimmy is sitting on the side of his bed listening to motherfucking Metallica or something. He is not giving a fuck about what his mama's talking about. Come downstairs and take some trash out. So, like, it's like if you sitting up there waiting for this person to do right by you, you might as well just go ahead and just <laughs> kiss that wish goodbye because, like, you ain't about to, <laughs> you ain't about to see none of that. Like, this person has intentions of eventually getting up 
and come on downstairs and take in the trash out. But you better not wait on it. You might as well motherfucker just do it yourself. And that is what is bothering Aquarius. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, motherfucker, um, I'm bringing what I need to bring to the table. And you plan too fucking much. And listen, I love you. I do. I do. I love you. And to clarify that, because it's like, this is a happy family environment. Like, you know, two Aquarius is something about this person that they feel like this is their soulmate. And this was clarified, you know, I mean, that this was a happy home environment, you know, happy family life, um, emotionally supportive, like everything like that. But I feel like on a financial front, this person ain't showing up like emotionally, sexually, and things like that. This person shows up and Aquarius really loves them and thinks that this person is their soulmate. But at the same time, that ain't that that's not that's not enough for Aquarius to stay there. Because it's like if you can't do what I need you to do and show up for me financially and everything is on me by myself, that's gonna piss me the fuck off. Cause my money ain't our money. Do you feel what I'm saying? And if you ain't going to step up and be the man, or if it's an Aquarius man, if you ain't going to step up and be the woman that I need you to be, and every time I ask you to go out and get a job or to do something to help me financially sustain this household, yeah, we happy in, but being happy don't pay no fucking bills around here. Being in love don't pay no motherfucking bills around here, bitch. No, like, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. You can't continue just to lean on me on support financially, all right? Because you see green pastures over here and think that I won't have no courage to tell you, no, get the fuck up off of me. And um, you need to bring something to the table to make sure that we can keep these green pastures around this bitch. Please get the fuck off of me. You making my fucking arm sweaty and shit, leaning on me. Get the fuck off of me. Have y'all ever had some eye? Like leaning on you or something, and y'all like at a park or something, and like your arm and shit all sweating and shit from when they leaning on you and they, like get the fuck, like boy, the fuck off of me. You a whole grown ass man out here. I don't want to have to leave you. Like honestly, I'm trying to let you know because Aquarius is thinking about getting the fuck up, packing up their shit and leaving because this is like an uphill battle, and um, I'm good on it. Like this, this is not what Aquarius do. Aquarius don't do drama. Okay, we'll just leave. Like I said, because we cold-hearted, we ain't got no feelings. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to leave. Exactly. Like, I don't give a fuck about you. So, like, unless you want to sign some divorce papers, I'm going to advise you to get up off of your ass and act like you want to be here and you're going to help me. If you're not going to help me, I don't give a fuck what no church house said. Talking about you not supposed to, um, you know, for better or for worse. Yeah, whatever. It's 2019. I don't give a fuck about no for better or for worse shit. Hold on, you guys. Let me see what my children need. Yes. Anywho. So let's figure out, you know, what else is going on in the heart of the matter with the quarrels. Please give me some spiritual advice for what we can say quarrels. Because I feel like, listen, with that sugar-free song, someone said, <laughs> I'd rather give you my bitch than to let you breathe on oh, my last bit of endoscope. I feel like, you know, like some my, like whoever, like, of course, like y'all sitting up in the house, y'all done put the baby to bed, of course, sitting there, enjoying some wine, bought the motherfucker from old her J up or some shit, and here come this nigga, okay? Still ain't take the trash out from the other day I asked you to take the trash out. And you coming over here trying to, what, you want me to share my J with you? You want me to share my drink with you? Nigga, did you put in on this, man? Ain't that what Smokey said? Did you put in on this 20 twin twin, nigga? No? You ain't got no money? Fuck out my face. Like, no, I'm tired of sharing with you and shit. Like, I love you. I do and everything, but that shit don't mean nothing to me. Oh God, I feel like <laughs> Aquarius is, is like tired of support and inspiration. It's like, I love you, but love ain't enough. Like I, Aquarius is that, you know, like I will leave you behind some coin. You can say that, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say about it, but you know, tch, I will leave you behind some coin. Fulfillment of wishes, okay? 
I'm focused on like my life being evergreen and fulfilling, abundantly growing. So like anything that's getting in the way of just like nah, what's this fertility in reverse, harmony, foundations and achievements, and pros and prosperity begins. I feel like some of you guys might end up with an unwanted pregnancy, y'all. Y'all might end up with an unwanted pregnancy. What the fuck is going on with this? Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to say this. I y'all going to have an unwanted pregnancy or you guys might end up losing a child. Or that y'all lost a child. And it opened up your fucking eyes. It opened up your eyes because I think that... This loss of fertility, this loss of fertility, either it's a child that you don't want or you lost the baby. It woke you up and it made you look at who the fuck is leaning on you. You know what I'm saying? Because either it's like you guys just realized that you are pregnant and realize that the person that you're pregnant by is leaning on you. So how could you look to them to support you with this baby? You know? And it's like... You having to be gentle with yourself and having the courage to, like, really address yourself and look at this situation. Like, do I really want a baby by this motherfucker? Do I really want to be pregnant by someone who really don't help me? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, if it's just me and you, that's one thing. Because if I allow you to take advantage of me, that's one thing. But when we bringing a baby into the picture, come on. You know what I'm saying? I got to think about the heart of the matter. You know what I'm saying? I got to think about the heart of the matter right here. And I want to have a, a, you know, fulfillment of all my wishes and all my dreams. And I want to continuously to be fruitful and grow. I don't know if I want to grow in this way. I don't know if I want to grow with having someone continuously leaning on me for support. When life altering and changing things happen in our life. If they leaning on me for support, how can I look to them for support? So I need to have courage and really look at what fulfillment and my true wishes are in life and, and, and really see if this is truly it. You understand? Because what I want, honestly, is fulfillment and true harmony and support. You know? Because when it comes to bringing children in the world, you need support. And you need someone that's going to have courage to always stand by you and always provide for you and make sure that you feel safe at all times. You know what I'm saying? Support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. Because I'm trying to tell. I feel like some of y'all are pregnant. And y'all realize that y'all might be pregnant by someone that you might not want a baby by. And to some sense, I want to say that you guys... This is a wish fulfillment because I feel like some of you guys wanted to be pregnant, but not by somebody that you really don't feel like is really going to have the courage to truly support you like that. You know, that's that ten of cups, you know, like as you, you, you happy, you happy with this person and the fact that y'all have this family, but you need this person to stand up and support you and, and, and do you know what I'm saying? And do what they're supposed to do because you love them. Like, you do love this person. You truly love this person and you feel like this person is your soulmate on that level. But it's like, man, love don't pay the fucking bills, man. And I don't want to have to fucking leave. I don't want to have to file for a divorce and do this by myself. I really do want harmony. Like, I really, I want us to get married. And this might be, this might be someone that just don't want to get married, too. That might be an issue as well. Like, you pregnant, and you want harmony, and you want to bring this into a full picture. You want full fulfillment of wishes. You want to be with someone who's going to have the courage to stand up, and, you know, y'all created this, y'all planted the seed, regardless if it was planned or not. But y'all love each other, so it's like... Foundations and achievements, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is that marriage card. Y'all starting a, a, a solid family, a, like, a happy life together. But for some reason, there's a 
delay in the prosperity beginning here. There's something wrong with that seed that, that was planted. There's something wrong here. There's something wrong here. Because like I said, the seed is being planted, but for some reason, there's something wrong with it growing. So, I mean, and, and I don't know if some of you guys lost a baby. Because this Queen of Wands, she's very upset and she's very angry. And if you are, if you are like this because you just keep asking someone, I just need you to fucking support. I just, I, I love you. There's no questions about that. But if you love me too, why you can't come to the table and support it? it just, I just, I'm asking you for fucking help. And your child is a shit. Why you can't help me? I don't even feel like Aquarius is asking for much. And especially like this baby coming, like this shit was okay before. Because like I said, if Aquarius wanted to allow this motherfucker to take advantage of them, then... That was on Aquarius, but man, shit changed once this baby came into the motherfucker pictures. And Aquarius is letting it be known without a question of the doubt. I will leave you. Like, listen. So I feel like there's some people that's mad because Aquarius is like, you think I'm about to stay here and put up with this bullshit? You think I'm about to stay and be committed to this shit? I don't think so. So what y'all talking shit because, oh, uh, what you about to go raise a baby by, my, by yourself? Yes, I will. Because <laughs> I don't want to have this baby and sit in this house with you. You're not going to help me. Me and my baby would be just fine by ourselves. I know it's not the traditional way that people think. And I think that people talking shit about you because you you just so easily just be like, okay, bye. Like, this is not the traditional way that women act. Okay, and y'all big pussy mad over there. I don't care. I see you in child support court, though, because like you think, <laughs> you think I'm about to do this by myself? Okay, yeah, whatever. Because at the end of the day. My foundations and achievements will not be touched. It will not be bothered. Me and my child will be in harmony regardless if I like the baby father or not. I don't give a fuck if you're going to do what you're supposed to do or not. Um, you know, just the fact that I have this baby, if ain't nothing, that's a fulfillment and a wish granted for me. I appreciate it. Abby, you're going to do what you're supposed to do. I love you. But do you love me and do you love this baby and do you have the courage to stand up and do what the fuck I need you to do? If not, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna have an unhappy fucking pregnancy fucking with you. You think I was? Think again. Nah. Me and my child, we're gonna have a happy family. And if anything, I will be the fucking love with me and my baby. Mm hmm. I sure will. I will be the fucking love with my baby as I get the fuck in my carriage and my boat. Moving far fucking hell away from you, waiting for these divorce papers and shit to be finalized. I don't got time for this shit. I don't have time for this shit. I'm I'm gonna be in harmony. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Might have been a delay in the prosperity and everything like that because I didn't see this coming. But I just need you to do the right thing. If you're not gonna do the right thing, I got to go. I seriously got to go. Cause I'm not gonna do this. I'm sorry. I gotta figure out what's going on with this Prince of Pentacles. Please give me some guidance about this Prince of Pentacles. And this Prince of Pentacles could talk to Aquarius. What would this Prince of Pentacles say? I'm a better person because of you. Our connection still affects me. Okay. Okay. I feel like Aquarius might have already left this person. Because this person is talking in past tense. I'm a better person because of you. Our connection still. Yeah. I, I, I feel like once you. Because I feel like Aquarius. Y'all going to end up leaving this person. Because I don't feel like this person is going to stand up. And do what they need to do in this household. To take care of you and this baby. Um, I feel like after you leave. They're not going to have a choice. They're not going to have a fucking choice. But to stand up and do what they're supposed to do. You're not going to have a choice. Because you're not aiding and embedding them anymore. You making this person stand up and take care of themselves. 
And this could definitely be somebody, an Aquarius man, making somebody, making a woman stand up and take care of herself if she ain't doing what the fuck she's supposed to do. So if this is a woman dealing with some Aquarius man, I feel like the man may, may not, at this point, the way that they look at you, they look at you like you're a bitch. You know what I'm saying? The Queen of Wands is a fucking bitch. Like, she's a bitch. Like, you're a fucking bitch. Not only that, but you're not bringing anything to the table. They love you, but they'd rather be without you. You know? It might not be traditional, but I can see they have their wish fulfillment because this baby is here. Regardless if they like you or not, they will take you to court and they will take this baby. And they're going to be at harmony in this new foundation that they have with them and their child. There might be a delay in their prosperous beginnings, but it's still going to be... It's still going to be good. They just have the courage to stop supporting somebody that don't want to take care of themselves. But they're a better person because of you. Because I feel like this Aquarius man stepped up in a role as a father raising a child by himself. That I don't even think that they had the ability. That they knew that they had the ability to even do anything like that. And your affection, their, their, their connection with this woman, with the child's mother still affects them. But it affects them in a good way because it makes them realize to stop letting motherfuckers lean on me that don't deserve to be in my fucking life. Okay? Let me get a rebel card. Let me get a rebel card. That foundation... And that connection still affects them because y'all were standing right at the door in front of this house. Like y'all were just about to purchase that house. But then that delay and prosperity, it didn't start. It never took off. You know what I'm saying? It didn't take off. It didn't take off where the family was truly able to walk in, put the key in there, and be happy together. You know? Something happened. Because it's like, how, how, how is the Ten of Cups... Clarified by the by the two of cups, and then right next to that is someone walking away to something that's mentally not good for them. It says, "You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. You have you eaten? You are acting like a big ass baby. I feel like so. Oh." I'm sorry, like, I'm serious. Like, I really do feel like um, some of you ladies, it's just, stop sleeping so damn much. Don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone, and you know why. Okay. This is what I'm getting, you guys. Listen, for you ladies that are pregnant, I feel like, um... This thing about, I feel like there's something about money that is bothering y'all. I feel like y'all are worried about your fulfillments and your wishes coming in in regards to a home foundation. Because you already see the delay and the prosperity coming in surrounding this situation. There is a lot of love there, but there ain't a lot of money. And I feel like the only money that's coming is coming from you. And mentally, you know, this is something that's not good for you because it's affecting your baby. This shit is affecting your baby. You're not eating. You're not eating. You're not taking care of yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Have you eaten? You've been acting like a big ass baby. You've been moody and you've been bitchy like I told you with that Queen of Wands in reverse. You need food in your belly. Eat a taco. If you don't take care of yourself, you're you going to end up losing that baby. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to say that. because, like, That's why it took me a second because I really don't want to say this shit. I don't want to say this, but I have to tell you that. You've been stressing and you've been sleeping too fucking much. Wake up. You are missing out on some cool shit. I feel like you guys are stressing anxiety written. You guys are pregnant. You laying around. Sleeping too fucking much. And it's not, this might not be for everybody if you're pregnant. or This is for people if you're pregnant. Because you feel like you're pregnant and you should be at peace and harmony. And you should be... It should be an achievement and it should be satisfaction because you're having a baby with someone that you love. But this money, 
surrounding this situation is a fucking problem. And it's stressing you out because I feel like everything is on you. And it says don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone and you know why. You need to sit back and you need to ex assess the situation. Because you seriously got, you, you, you need some time alone and you, you know why. You know why. You need to stop letting these motherfuckers lean on you so much. Because you got you got a new responsibility coming in the house. You don't need no grown-ass man or no grown-ass woman that don't want to take care of themselves leaning on you. You got your own responsibility that you about to take care of now. You need to have courage. You understand what I'm saying? You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. You need to set boundaries with this motherfucker. Because if you don't, that green abundance, that background, that lush land is going to stop growing. Because when you need support, you can't come to these people because you're too busy supporting them. You can't let people... Let me go here. Let me say go here. Come on, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on. You need food in your belly. Y'all are fucking pregnant. Somebody is pregnant. You need food in your belly. You're not eating. And if you don't eat and, and take care of your body, you're getting enough sleep, but you're not being active enough. And most importantly, your brain. You know what I'm saying? Your brain is telling you to move away and get away from this situation because you need to stop supporting these people. And then I feel like... This, this lack of support that you're getting is toxic and it's starting to fuck with you mentally even though that you really love this person. I don't want I don't want this this pregnancy, this ace of wands, new beginnings. It is new beginnings coming. Eggs in a basket, yeah. Temperance. There's new beginnings, but you need to get your faith. You need to get your trust. You need to get your balance together and stop communicating with people that are stressing you out. Because if you don't, you're going to lose that fucking baby. I'm sorry. Y'all are going through depression. Like a serious depression. But it's all about money. But you got to know that you're going to... God got you. But you gotta take care of your body. Please take care of your body. Especially if you're carrying a baby. Like you hurting your baby, y'all. Please. Please. Don't stress over this. God got you. You just have to have courage. King of Swords. You know the King of Swords holding that baby. That King of Swords holding that baby. Another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So you guys might be having a child with another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And... Um, and or this is you Gemini Libra or Aquarius all right so this is you guys all right and this is you being a single father I could definitely see I feel like this is a man this is a man this is a male Aquarius I feel like y'all y'all cutting out y'all cutting out this woman that y'all don't want this baby with and y'all taking that baby and you're not communicating with this person no more because this person keeps you off balance. And I see that cup right there. You want this person to stop drinking. And I feel like that's why you took your baby from this woman because this woman drinks too fucking much. You love this person in two of cups, but there's too much competition. And it's an uphill motherfucking battle. And it looks like it's two men here fighting over one woman. Competition. There's two men here fighting over one woman. And you told this bitch, you need to go, I'm taking the baby, okay? I need you to go somewhere and take a motherfucking hot bath and get yourself together. Because you're a hot ass motherfucking wreck, okay? You're a hot ass fucking wreck. And you're a hot ass fucking mess. You've been sleeping with all these fucking men, okay? Fire crotch. I'm surprised this baby is mine, honestly. Oh, and trust me, believe that King of Swords, oh, sh he took this bitch to court. That baby is his. You think King of Swords is going to take a baby? You think Aquarius is about to take a baby and raise a baby by himself? 
And that ain't his. Oh no, cause he don't he ain't trust this bitch. He ain't trust this bitch. And this bitch ain't been eating. She ain't been taking care of her body. I feel like this Aquarius man is scared that this woman, like, to this Aquarius man, he feel like this woman don't do nothing but lay around the house, sleep all motherfucking day. She don't want to work. She don't want to do anything. She's fucking a bitch. Okay? The Queen of Wands in reverse is a slutty woman. You understand? She's promiscuous, so it was very possible that he did not think that this baby was his. However, he did love this person. He thought that this is his soulmate. But however, he will move on because he's not going to deal with this um this flighty ass. Like, cause this woman's a whore. You know what I'm saying? His wish was fulfilled by the fact that he had this baby, but he just don't like who he had the baby with. But he's in peace and harmony because he has a brand new achievement. He's a father. It's just that. The seed wasn't bought in in the family environment that he wanted, you know? This woman just sits around eating junk food all day, and he be getting on her about the fact you need to eat more green, you need to eat more healthy, you're having a baby. Like, what the fuck? Only thing you do is, is, is lay around and sleep. And like this Aquarius man is just like, I need some time alone. And I know why, because I feel like a, this Aquarius man is like, I cannot keep letting this woman lean on me like this. I don't know if I could do this forever. Had I known that this woman was like this, I don't think I would have had this baby. I'm going to go ahead, new beginnings with just me and my child. Because I'm not willing to take care of her. But I got my baby though. This bitch keeps me off balance. This bitch don't have no faith. Like, she don't have no morals. She don't have no good character. You know what I'm saying? She don't know how to control herself. You know? And I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. I don't have time to keep communicating and going back and forth with people who don't have no sense of values and, and, and respect for themselves. That's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. And this girl is saying, oh, I'm a better person because of you. And um, our connection still affects us. Yeah, I know. Because I took your fucking baby, bitch. And <laughs> you think you like what? I just heard this person say, you thought that you was about to get food stamps and child support off this baby off of me. Bitch, you got me fucked up. I blocked you. And I will see you in court. Like, I'm not doing, I'm not dealing with this. You're not about to, like, no, you're not about to play with me. I'm cutting you the fuck out and I'm taking my baby. Straight like that. I can see that this man even might have served this bitch some papers in the motherfucking, um, in the hospital. Like, he's, like, dead ass like that. Because this is someone that he really loved that put him in competition with other men for her love. He loved this woman. He loved this woman. And this bitch had her out had him, had him out there fighting and, and battling with other with other men. And this man questioned if that baby was even his. He told that bitch to go somewhere. You need to go and handle your business on your own. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't I don't know if I can mentally do this with you anymore. So I'm retreating. I'm not engaging in this situation with you anymore. And um you need to go somewhere and take a bath because your pussy is hot, bitch, and you you fire crotching. You fire crotching, your pussy burning. And bitch, you ain't about to come bring me nothing. So let's um don't make no damn sense. Y'all don't think that these men will not come and take these damn babies. Like, especially if y'all out here for a fucking fire crotch. Mm-mm. He said this woman was out here being fire crotch. And she need to go soak her little hot ass puss. That is terrible. <laughs> Third party. Negative vibrations. He is not going for it. I don't think I've ever had an Aquarius male energy pop up in the readings before. Bound. He's releasing himself from being bound and tied to you. He's finally breaking out. He's getting that courage. He's like, I, I, I will not. I will not. He's just being patient. He's being patient. 
spring. Oh, yeah. He's being patient. He's just waiting for the end of spring. What's a material world? She's going to change in this material world. Oh, no, I ain't doing all of that. Free will. Okay. Yeah. Listen. So in regards to this, to this, to this love situation, he's releasing himself from being bound to this shit with this person. He's not supporting this person no more. And he's taking a baby. He just wait for the end of the spring for the baby to be born. That's honestly how I feel. I feel like they want to name the baby April. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like they're going. The baby's going to be born at the end of the spring. They're going to name the baby April. Anyway, this man is just being patient, waiting for his child. You see, this is his child. He's being patient, waiting for his baby. I feel like he's went ahead of her while she's pregnant. And he filed papers for divorce and to move and take that baby. And I feel like he's going to go to court and he's going to show them. I loved her. I loved her. Like, I don't know if there's footage or it's something that they're going to show in court. Like some type of proof that there was a battle between them and another man. And they didn't know if this baby was theirs. Okay. This woman's walking away. Not taking no ownership for all of this drama. And this Aquarius man loved this woman. And I can see them going into court in front of this hierophant explaining this shit. And this is why they don't this is why they don't want to be with this woman no more. And this bitch is sitting here in the bathtub soaking off her fire crotch, okay? With her headphones on. So it's like she don't want to listen to this shit. And um this Aquarius man is like, you don't gotta listen. You got free will. You ain't got to listen to me. You ain't got to listen to me. I love you, but I love myself more. You think you's about to come and fuck up, fuck around with my coins? And he's like, no. Because I feel like this this, this Aquarius man feels like this woman thought that she was about to come and be slick and be a little fucking whore, that Queen of Wands. Now I'm understanding now that Queen of Wands energy in the reverse. Y'all Aquarius men, y'all were advocating a fucking Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries woman. And you really love this woman. Wow. Wow, bruh. Oh, let's see what's going on in the shadows, shall we? And you like, uh-uh. I'm just being patient and I'm waiting for my baby to come here in this material world so I can take care of my baby because I have free will and I'm happy. Like Aquarius is just happy about their baby. That's all they get happy about their baby. And like, I'm not going to be sitting there being bound to this bullshit. Bitch, you taught me a lot. Thank you. Yeah, this, this this relationship and this connection still affects me. It really does. Unstable. This motherfucker is unstable. Oh, fuck. Come on now. Now, come on. No, I'm not reading all that. Ruthless in reverse. Uncomfortable. Insecure. I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that this. Hold on. I'm not taking that this. Now, hold on. Let me get all of this. All this shit just flew. Flew. But this Aquarius feels like this woman is unstable. That's why they, they, they wish they would have never got this bitch pregnant. Honestly, that's what I'm getting. They wish that they would have never got this unstable creature Like, this person is, is emotionally unstable. Like, it's like they're just, like, pouring, like, unstable emotional verbiage out. It's like it's like emotional, un, um, like, like, um, unstable emotional word vomit. Like, that they deal with from this woman. And they be like, shut the fuck up. You're dead to me. Don't nobody want to hear nothing about none of this shit that you're saying. I'm unavailable. All right. This is a one sided situation and I'm unavailable. You're unstable. So ain't no point of you like vomiting all this emotional bullshit to me. Like you're dead to me. Like you're unstable. I did love you. No, I'm not even gonna lie. I do still love you. 
But as far as this relationship is dead, so I don't want to hear all this unstable emotional ass shit that you goddamn pouring out of your mouth. I don't care. Like I don't care. Like I'm 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 I'm, I'm releasing myself from this shit. This was a one sided relationship. I loved you, but you was out there loving the fucking streets. Like you had me out in the streets fighting men. No, I'm not gonna do this. I'm unavailable for anything that you have to say. So I don't even know why you're talking to me. I'm not taking care of you no more. You thought that coming around having this baby. What does it say? You thought you thought coming around this baby was going to delay me and walking away. No, I'm still walking away. I'm just taking the baby. Because you're not about to take my money. Like, no. No. <laughs> it's Aquarius, man. It's not paying. He's like, she thought she thought having this baby was going to delay me and walking away. No. And here go ruthless. It still won't pop out ruthless. It feel like this person is ruthless. They feel like this woman is ruthless and she, you see how she got these two men just dragging them by their fucking heads and shit like that. And it like, I, like Aquarius is not scared of you. Aquarius ain't scared of you. You're like, who the fuck you think? You, you, you think you're about to be dragging me by my motherfucking hair and all of this shit like that? I just want you to know, like, the way I'm feeling, like, normally when I see this ruthless card, sometimes I would get upset or whatever, depending on the energy and shit. I feel nothing. I don't feel nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Aquarius not scared of you at all. At fucking all. Like, not in the least bit. Like he told you. Go sit somewhere and go cool your hot pussy ass down. Fuck out of here, you fuck a whore. Like, shut the fuck up. Like... You see, you like, like you see me in the streets. You see me in the streets whooping niggas' ass. You think I give a fuck about you thinking you being ruthless? And I'm sorry, but this Aquarius man is saying, "Bitch, I will smack the whole shit out of you and any nigga that you bringing over here trying to fuck with me. Stop playing with me. I will smack the shit out you, bitch." And I'm sorry, that is what he just said to me in my head. Like, no, this Aquarius is like, no, if you hit me, bitch, or if you send somebody, and he's like, listen, you can sit over there with your hot pussy ass and don't listen if you want to. Don't listen and don't get your mind together if you want to. I'm giving you a reprieve to go over there and sit your hot pussy ass down and think about what the fuck you doing. Because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you used to. I look funny, but y'all making money, see? Okay, listen. Listen, Belinda. Aquarius said you already see how I get down in the streets. Okay, so you could play with me if you want to because I'm about to cut this support off and shit like that because I'm finally having this, 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 this courage to set boundaries with you. Why? Because I'm setting boundaries with you and I ain't about to do this toxic ass shit with you because I'm setting boundaries with you. Now you mad because I'm taking you to, 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 to court because I'm asking you for support now. <laughs> because I got our baby. Yeah, the same baby that you was too busy Run around being a whore and you ain't even want to eat right. You ain't even want to take care of yourself even when you was pregnant. And I went and took that shit to court and I won and I took our baby. You can bring, you can call these niggas to come around here if you want to. I'ma whoop their ass. I'ma smack the shit out of you. Okay? <sighs> On everything, like for real, like Aquarius is like for real, like don't, don't play with me like that. Because I hit back. So you send somebody over here to motherfucker try to beat me up. After I whoop their ass, I'm going to smack the whole shit out of you. And I'm a motherfucking head. Then I guess I can go to jail. But I don't even see that. I don't even see Aquarius going to jail. Because I feel like Aquarius has so much evidence against this woman. That she's an unstable mother. This person is an unstable mother. The hierophant. Yeah, the, the, like like Aquarius is like, I got I to gotta go with my religious beliefs. The four childishes, yeah. I gotta go with my. Uh, I got. I gotta go with someone that is their foundations and the way that they were brought up is very important to them. They feel like a man having multiple women or a woman having multiple men, um, um, men. They feel like that's disgusting. They're like, what type of fucking church? How the fuck were you raised? What type of church did y'all go to? Like, you a fucking whore. Like, you beautiful as shit, but you're a fucking whore. And I need to focus on my religious beliefs and how I was raised. My my character in creed. You know what I'm saying? You got to stick to the creed. I got to stick to my creed of character. 
I don't know what type of shit, what type of her font this is and how you was raised, bitch. But that ain't how I was raised. That ain't how I get down. So listen, you know, um, I'm not interested in, like, I'm not interested in, in this anymore. Like, I did love you, but now, like, I'm, no. So whatever you trying to offer me, like, I'm rejecting it. I don't want anything from you. Like, I really don't want anything from you. You see this? They cutting that magnet. That magnetic draw that you used to have on me is is done. It's cut. I don't I don't care about that shit anymore. I'm focused on new beginnings and I got a new bitch. I don't care about you no more. Ace of Wands again. Then we say that Ace of Wands. Aquarius is focused on new beginnings. They don't have it to do with you. They don't have it to do with you. They have encouraged to cut off the support. They're not about to keep fucking around with you like that. You understand? Do you understand? Oh, okay. So anyway, I gotta go. Because somebody gonna end up getting their ass knocked out fucking around with this Aquarius, man. I don't know who the fuck you is. So listen, I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo woman. And she's talking shit to you about an Aquarius, about her baby father. And she about to send you over there. She gonna send you over there to get your ass whooped. Okay? So when the whole block come out. And I feel, and like I told you, Aquarius is very well respected in y'all area. Y'all gonna end up having to fight the whole fucking neighborhood fucking around with Aquarius. Please think twice. Don't let this fucking whore, don't let this whore put you in a position to come around and get fucked up. Because I really do feel like this woman is like, and look, why are you over there getting your ass whooped? She walking away while Aquarius is sitting, like sitting there getting your getting you together getting you together that's the tricks of her trade like this woman knows how to use her sexual abilities her looks and things to manipulate people to do her bidding so y'all keep on fucking around and Aquarius found that out very quickly okay so listen if this video resonated if this video resonated because at first I thought it was an Aquarius I mean it might be an Aquarius woman that is expecting but I feel like there's a woman there's a Sagittarius, um, Leo or Aries that's expecting by an Aquarius man. And I feel like he is about to take her child because she is not stable. And he feels like this woman is ruthless, okay? And guess what? Aquarius ain't got no, eh, Aquarius ain't got no problem with dragging a few hoes. None. None whatsoever. And we ain't scared of you. Like I said, y'all did not see me get my energy frazzled or ruffled not one fucking time. Like they said, Aquarius don't have no feelings. Aquarius, look, they be looking for Aquarius to get them some type of emotion or something. I don't, y'all don't, y'all hoes don't move me. Y'all don't impress me. Okay? So y'all hear, y'all hear what Aquarius is saying? Listen, I will raise this baby on my own. Y'all hoes don't impress me. Focus on new beginnings. Okay? New beginnings. Y'all hoes don't impress me. And y'all bitches damn sure can't beat me. Y'all keep letting this dumb ass bitch keep bringing y'all over here to get y'all ass beat. It's cool. It's cool. I got enough stamina for you. I see y'all tomorrow. Shout out to all you guys. All y'all good single fathers standing up. Shout out, to all, look, shout out to all my single fathers. Let me see them thumbs up for all my single fathers out there. Anybody that know a single father, a good ass man, especially a good ass Aquarius man, y'all go ahead and put them goddamn thumbs up in that goddamn comment section, y'all. Shout out to all my single fathers out there, man. Shout the fuck out to all my single fathers, man. I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm literally getting chills, man, because this, this, like, people be talking so much shit. Like, it's not no ain't shit ass women out there. It is ain't shit ass women out here. And these men are not dealing with this shit in 2019. Because they're like, you know what? If you... Don't know how to be a good mother. I'm going to take my child and I'm going to have harmony. And I'm going to have my child being raised in a good home environment. My child ain't going to be raised by no hoe. Anyway. Like I said, Aquarius leaving hoes delirious. Aquarius leaving hoes delirious. I see y'all. If this video resonates, y'all know how to book. I told y'all in the beginning. Alright. And if... You want to book a personal private read? I'm sorry. If you want to book a personal private reading, hit the about tab. Hit the booking and make sure that you hit that link right under there for my Instagram for the video chat. If this video resonated, hit the like and the thumbs up button. All right. And um, if you want to give a love donation, you can feel free. Information is in the description for the PayPal. I love y'all. Love and light.